Bella Goth is currently on vacation at the Palazzo Palms Hotel. She has had a wonderful time so far visiting the newly renovated Rens Fens National Park. And she met an extremely attractive lumberjack man who she met again at the beach. And we did have a little moment wondering whether he'd followed us here specifically. But Bella is not quite ready to go home. We're not quite done taking a break from our responsibilities, our self-imposed responsibilities, so many of which we could really do with distancing ourselves from and re-evaluating what really matters to us. Letting some things slip by the wayside, I think, would be the way forward. It's half past six and Bella is getting up. I wonder if the maid in this establishment is going to be as intrusive as the maid at Wren's Fens National Park, who insisted on coming to clean the toilet while we were still in the bathroom. Oh, there she is. Maid Marion, coming to clean the toilet at the precise moment that I'm stepping out of the shower. Oh dear, okay, we're gonna head down to breakfast now. And then we'll think about what we wanna do today. I think it could be nice to go back to the arcade and see if we can get some more prize tokens to redeem something. Oh, Bella wants to do that autonomously. Okay, let's make that happen. It doesn't seem like our new friend has come to the beach today, so maybe he's off visiting somewhere else. But I think we're pretty happy to just hang out by ourselves because we're very much like living in the moment and freeing ourselves from responsibilities. So I don't feel any obligation to develop a relationship with him if it's not what we're feeling. Benjamin is the guy that we squabbled with over the water balloon fight. So I'm not so pleased to see him. Maybe we could talk to him and just kind of reassure him that there's no bad blood and everything's cool between us. Oh, our relationship is only minus three now. It was like minus 10 before. Checkout is in one hour. I think we're gonna stay here one more night, so I'm not gonna check out now. We don't seem to think much of Cleve McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy, cannot say that. I don't know what happened between us. We got three tokens from the balloon game. Let's try the chicken game. Margaret, I'm pretty sure we've met her before. For some reason, I really thought we'd be burning through our money on vacation, but I don't think we are. I don't think our existence is that expensive on Vacation Island. If a hotel is 40 simoleons a night, food is quite expensive from the buffet table, but then sometimes when other sims have left their food behind, we're just kind of helping ourselves to it. And that just kind of, that prevents wastage, I think. And it's less work for Janet and Tanya, scraping that uneaten food into the trash. We're having a nice little chat with Margaret here. We seem to be getting on quite well. Oh my gosh, it's Sonny the Tragic Clown. What is he doing here? Somebody must be miserable. It's not me. Our needs are pretty good. We're having a good time. We are stress-free. He should leave. He should really leave. There are families on vacation here. Like, they don't want their moods to be brought down. Where is he going? Do I need to call the clown catchers? The vacation director should do that. It's her responsibility to keep everything ticking over. The tragic clown just got into a cab. That's so funny. I thought he would disappear into a hole in the ground or something. I think it's interesting that most of the Sims we've been talking to on holiday have been super friendly. It's like everyone's just in a good mood. Everyone's feeling really open and chatty. Maybe there's that sense of, oh, I'm just going to talk to you because I'm on vacation, but once I get home, we're not really going to be in touch anymore, so it doesn't matter. I don't know, I feel like I could see Bella staying in touch with some of the people we've talked to. Certainly our lumberjack friend, Neil, and this lady called Margaret, who we seem to be getting on with pretty well. The sun has gone down. I think we're going to go upstairs for a little drink. If we head up to the bar up here. Let's have a party punch. I love the animation, the way there's a little tray and he puts the drink on the tray. I love that. So we're just enjoying our drink up on the balcony. We're a little bit tired though, so I think Bella's going to be going to bed soon. 
I just realized there's a jukebox here. We could maybe put some music on. Okay, let's turn the music off because our bedroom is just over here somewhere. And we're not going to be able to sleep if we leave it on. Okay, Bella, let's get to bed now. Somebody is creating a racket with the pinball machine. Yes, that's right. You are tired. Danny, it's time for bed. Why are you still here? An unaccompanied child in a bar area? That's not really appropriate. Where are your parents? It's morning time. Another day on vacation. Another day of bliss. We're going to use the bathroom and... Then we're going to head down to breakfast and I'm thinking we might go to another lot today because when we were in the woods, I kind of wanted Bella to have a go at archery, but there was no archery range at Ren's Fens National Park. And I don't know, it might be fun to have a little go at it. And if Neil is still on vacation, we might run into him. Who knows? He looked very strong and muscular, so I'm sure he'd be very good at archery. Maybe he could even show us how to do it like our own private teacher, kind of. Maybe I'm getting a little bit carried away. Let's, yeah, let's eat some breakfast and then we're gonna check out. I did wanna get some more tokens to try and get a prize in the arcade, but the whole like having to aim to have a certain number of tokens to win something, it feels a little bit too much like work in a way. It's like a nice fun thing to do, but we're trying to enjoy our trip without worrying about numbers and achievements. So we're gonna just, put that on the back burner for now. We do actually already have one memento from Vacation Island from our last trip, so it's okay if we don't win anything this time, I think. So we're checking out. Come back soon. I probably will come back soon. I love the Palazzo Palms Hotel. It's absolutely beautiful here. We're going to call a cab. We're going to go somewhere else. Oh, I don't know if we're ready to say goodbye to the hot weather though. Back in the forest, we're gonna have to wear clothes again. It's gonna be cold. Okay, so we've got the option of Rangers Ranch Campground. We could stay in a tent there, or we've got the Bear Essentials Lodge. I'm kind of thinking the Bear Essentials Lodge because I don't really think this trip has been about roughing it. We've been pretty happy to stay in hotel rooms and have home comfort. So I think we're going to go there. That way we will be sleeping inside. But mostly I am just excited to try out the archery range. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that now. Rent bow and arrow. Oh no, but Bella is still in her bikini. Okay, we should probably change out of our bikini. How do I... Is there a... There's a wardrobe in this bedroom. So we're just going to change to normal. Okay, now let's go rent a bow and arrow. I see no sign of my fantasy archery instructor, but it's okay. We are a big girl, we can teach ourselves. Oh, but there's a bit of a queue at the rental shack, Jack. We might have to wait. Okay, I definitely told Bella to rent a bow and arrow, but she's gotten a fishing pole instead, so I guess we're going fishing. I wonder if she'll catch anything. We're not a very experienced fisherwoman, so I wouldn't expect that we will. But it is fun though, we're having a good time. And I just think we're so willing to try new activities, which is really helping us renew our appreciation for life when we've been extremely overwhelmed and stressed. We're just having a little lunch break, a little Neapolitan ice cream by the looks of it. And then I do wanna try and have a go at archery if we can. Okay, there we are. This time we got what we wanted, so let's have a go, Bella. Let's see if we can do this bow and arrow thing. Okay, looks like she has great form. I don't know what that means, but she has the strength in her arms. She has great posture. Okay, that third arrow got closer to the middle. Oh my gosh, you can get tokens from this. I never knew that. Okay, this is exciting, Bella. 
We got another six tokens. That is so cool. Bella is doing so well at this. I'm so proud of her. Okay, we're gonna go have a little sit down by the lake and just um, watch the ducks and let time pass a little bit. Okay, but Bella wants to go eat again already. Is that Margaret? Oh, it's Margaret. Do you want to come join or... She's already eaten. You are correct, Margaret. I am very funny. I love how she just turned away from us straight away to talk to the vacation director. We're actually still talking to you. I'm sure that conversation can wait. We just made friends with Margaret. That's really exciting. I don't know if we know this man called Patrick. Have we spoken to him? I feel like I saw him at the beach. Maybe he is Margaret's husband. They both have the same last name. We're gonna probably check in for the night now. Okay, we're gonna go use the outdoor toilet and then we're gonna pick a room for the night because there are a few cabins here. There seem to be a few sims in this one already, so I think maybe we'll go for this one here. It is just 10 o'clock, but I feel like we could probably turn in for the night and then see how we're feeling tomorrow. Excuse me, Marcus and my absolute fave made Marion. What can I do for you, child? He saw that we were going to sleep and rightfully decided to leave the cabin. But Maid Marion is obsessed with us. I mean, I don't blame her, but some privacy would be nice. She's still just standing there in the bathroom. Like, do you have nowhere else to be? Well, it's morning time and Maid Marion left sometime during the night. We are headed out to grab some food at the buffet and then we'll probably have to have a shower. Seeing the mailbox there does make me think we could maybe buy a postcard for our friend Liliana because I had very, very briefly considered coming on vacation with her in the first place. I don't know. I'm kind of like, do I even want to be friends with her? <laughs> her bio says, Liliana is calculated and cunning. What does she have up her sleeve? Maybe she isn't that nice. I don't know. Let's buy... Let's buy a forest postcard. I'm just thinking about it and I feel like I don't really want to send a postcard to her. And I think if we do, it'll kind of be like one of those things where you feel a little bit obligated to do it for some reason. Oh, I'm abroad. I should send a postcard to that person, but I don't really want to. So, Liliana, you won't be receiving a postcard from me. There's always Victoria Hazel, but for some reason, I don't know. I don't want to send a postcard to her either. You know what? We've bought the postcard. We're just going to keep it for ourselves. What's the harm in that? We can just keep it as a memento, for the fact that we were here. I'm going to check out of the room now. Bella's had her shower. This trip is not about our friends back home. This trip has not been about thinking about others. <laughs> it's been about rest and relaxation. We're gonna go join Chuck in the hot tub for a few moments because that looks very relaxing. Have we spoken to him before? I don't think we have. Is he wearing any clothes? They're like staring into each other's eyes almost. Okay, he doesn't like us. Okay, he's mad. He's mad at us. Okay, I think I think what we did just there was maybe a little bit inappropriate. Let's get out of the hot tub. I think we're gonna light the campfire quickly. Bella is just putting a few logs on the fire. Then maybe some of these other sims on the fishing pier would come and join us. Okay, we've been sitting here for a while and no other sims have come to join us by the fire but we are having a really good time by ourselves and I think that's great. It's so peaceful just sitting by the lake as well. Bella is just cooking a few burgers as well. They seem to be cooking nicely. Where is she going? 
Oh, there's a counter over here. Maybe she's going to put them down over there. She's making sounds that make it seem like she doesn't like the burger very much. Yeah, it's not fresh home cooking. It's cooking out in the open air. I would have thought that makes it taste better, like barbecue food versus cooked in an oven at home. I don't know. Let's go to the toilet. I think we are feeling well enough to head back home. I'm pretty satisfied that Bella has had enough time to relax and re-energize. We've met lots of nice sims. We've actually made two new friends, which is amazing and not what I expected. So let's call cab, go home. I think we might just have to set aside time to come on vacation a lot more frequently because it seems to be a remedy for stress. Oh my gosh, there's cockroaches there. Where is Maid Marion when you need her? Goodness me, no, better leave the cockroaches. So we're getting in the cab now, heading back home, but it's not goodbye. It's just until next time, okay? And just like that, it is nighttime and we're back home and there are bills in the mailbox as usual, which we should probably pay. I hope they're not too expensive. Okay, there are two piles of bills, 216 and 214, that's not too bad. We've got some weeding and watering to do in our garden. I'm happy to keep that up for now. It's just not a massive priority and it's not something that we should be worrying about, I think, as some obligation to being like a side hustle or something. I think we could maybe work out for a little bit because Bella's energy is actually not that low. I mean, it's quite low and I don't want to destroy her mood, but I'm just looking already at her career panel and we need a body skill point and our performance is just average. But then I'm like, what if we just quit our job? What if we just stopped going? <laughs> okay, we got that body skill point quite quickly. Now I'm going to put Bella to bed. We still need another two friends if we want to get promoted, but I don't know if that's really a priority right now. I think the main thing is that Bella is just more balanced in herself, not prioritizing only things that stress her out and really choosing to take time for herself. So I think I'm going to leave this video here. I'll leave a link in the description with all of the previous videos I made with Bella if you want to check them out. Do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and I will see you in the next one.